It's England's first runs. Leg buys. Roger Dill, our friend from Bermuda, doing the honours. Haven't seen him before. England off the mark. This is where left-handers always have problems, though, isn't it, Gray? And the ball is running straight across. Well, excellent seam there from Chent. Trent Johnson going across Trescothic. Not much foot movement, and he's not noted for that, Trescothic. He's a good driver down the ground, likes to play up and down his stumps, doesn't move his feet very much, and that's where the Australians in the past have sometimes caused him problems, probably Grim McGrath more than anyone. Well, he's biffed that for four. There was a loud cry of catch it from somebody, but it whistled through the covers. That's over the top. Uh, will it go for four? It's uh, an early test of the outfield, and in fact, it's running away pretty smoothly. Up a bit of a slope. Uh, poor ball. But again, put away ruthlessly. And again, beautiful stroke that. Four, off the edge, a little bit streaky. Well, that's a chance. It might be the end of Joyce. It's O'Brien, a good fielder. Yeah! And he's done on. Not a great ball, but that doesn't matter. They're delighted. And Ed Joyce's first innings in international cricket comes to an end with a sky top edge. A short ball from Langer Smith and Ed Joyce trying to repeat the shot of a few overs ago, over wide mid on, top edge, excellent catch from O'Brien, just got his hands on it and Ed Joyce has gone for 10, 21 balls and that's a great breakthrough for the Irish side. <laughs> Glorious strike. Again, there's just simply push that really. And on a fast outfield, again finding the gap. Fine shot from Strauss. He's underway. Another bad ball. And Draskovic puts that away. Oh. And he's got a wicket. First ball. Well, it wasn't a very good delivery. But they'll take them how they come. The England captain is out. Bota with the catch at backward square leg. Uh, Kevin, uh, the bat batsman could have picked anywhere in the ground. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately for him, it was uh, Andre Botha. Kevin O'Brien has had a fantastic start to his international uh, career. This is his second match today. 60 for two, then. Strauss out for four. Yeah. Collingwood underway straight away. Happy to see the Irish hunting in packs there. Now can Mooney get his line right? There's the answer. But another poor delivery. Uh, John just ha hasn't hit his length uh, this morning. Johnson with the catch. An over-pitched ball, dri driven in the air. Uh, 
and straight to uh, Trent Johnson at, at extra cover, short extra cover. Good catch. Well, it was a full ball swinging away. Yeah. Collingwood will be annoyed with himself that he's got out like that. But well taken. Yeah. Yes. It's 92 for three, and Collingwood is out for ten. He's looking to come back for two, and there it is. There's his 50. Very good time as well. It's been an excellent effort from just Scotty. Power play three has started. Oh, goodness me. I think they call that a Chinese cut. Got away with it. And he's got the four. A nervy shot. Well, I'm sure Trent Johnson won't be happy. A second slip goes in, and Mooney drifts onto the leg side for Ian Bell. And they've taken two. Decent running. Well, these are the score projections for England. And that if they uh, keep it at four and over, they're looking at 238, six and over, 298. And eight and over, maybe a big ask, 358. So I would have thought something towards 300 over 300. Down. There's the 50 partnership. Almost unnoticed. It's just been that sort of style today, really, just, uh, just nudging and pushing and uh, making sure that there was no slip up. Mm -hmm. Wellington lost that third wicket. Oh! That almost crept through. Well done, doggy. Yes, so far, Paul Moody has, has bowled well. 3.3 overs for 12 runs. Uh, Doing a, a fantastic job for a skipper in a tight situation. Triscothic seven away from his century. He's hoisted it. One bounce for four. First boundary for 17 overs. 189 for three off 36 overs and really be calmed. Ian Bell not been able to press on at all. That's a strange one for Ian Bell because he's lost his test place, desperate to do well today, but he's getting himself into a bit of a rut here. Well, a bit of luck for him. Maybe that's just what he needed. Four runs. There it is. Number 11. Got him against eight different countries. Marcus Trescothic. He's held it all together for England today. Quite got that. But it's 50 for Bell. It's been hard work for him. He's fought his way back at this one day side. He's played in the last three matches. 200 up as well. Fine straight from Bell. Good shot over extra cover. Lovely shot, couple of bounces into the ropes, four runs. I think lucky to get away with that. <laughs> Tough on the bowl there, he picks up four runs. It's a mo from Jaskoti. out. And it is. <laughs> Paul Mooney with the catch. John Mooney with the wicket. Scothic deciding it was time, but he could clear the rope. Another safe catch by the Irish fielders. So to Scothic out for 113. Fine exhibition from him today. 
England 234.